Hello guys, so it is Saturday and Steven and I's big plans today is we're gonna go buy a coffee maker, which I feel like sounds weird, but like we've had a Keurig for like years and years and years and like we both love our coffee in the morning and we always really make our coffee from home. We only get it out like maybe once a week and I just feel like the Keurig is very like watered down coffee. We're at my mom's house where she still has like an old school like legit like coffee maker and I had coffee there and I was like, oh my God, this is so much better than the Keurig coffee that we drink every single day. So. I was like, let's get a real coffee maker and see. Cause the Keurig is great out of convenience if you need like a quick cup or whatever, but I feel like an actual like brewed pot of coffee tastes so much better. So we're gonna go and see if we can like get one. I did some research online and I found one that gets like really good reviews, it's like 30 bucks at Walmart. So we're gonna go see if they have it and do that. I'm not gonna get anything super fancy. I guess we'll see if we like it first, like actually brewing like a whole pot thing in the morning. Cause I don't know, our Keurig is just not that good. I don't know if it's the Keurig we have or the K-Cups we buy, but we even buy like the Starbucks K-Cups they're just like not great, so I don't know. Also, I wanna show you guys how cute is my new little mask. Isn't this cute? I got it from Revolve. I like the little cheetah print. I used to be like so obsessed with the cheetah print. Oh my God, it was like my everything when I was like in high school. Do you remember that? Literally everything I owned. Oh, yeah. And zebra print, I liked them both. I didn't discriminate. I loved zebra, I loved cheetah. My dorm room freshman year was like all pink cheetah print. It's, just, it's the Jersey girl in me, I guess, I don't know. I, maybe that was a thing everywhere, I, not just New Jersey, but I definitely was a cheetah girl. Um, so we are about to go in. It looks like there's so many people here. The parking lot is a little crazy. Cause it's gonna rain again. I know, okay. yeah. The sky is looking a little dark, so we're probably gonna be running inside. It's weird though, because we come to this Walmart a lot like during everything going on, because it's like one of the only places that was open, but now all the other shops in here are open, so it's like way busier than it was before because all the other places are open now, which is good at least. But there actually used to be a Pier 1, I don't know if you guys can see it, like right back there that I used to love going to and it closed because they like completely went under, which is so sad. But all right, let's go inside and see if we can get a coffee maker and all the necessary supplies. We need like the coffee grounds yeah, or beans or whatever, I don't Coppers. know. We don't know what we're doing. Scooper, we need like a scoop. The coffee comes with that. Not all coffee comes with a scoop, I don't think. We don't know what we're doing, but we're wearing our masks and we are heading inside. Oop, can't get it on. There we go. Okay, so this is the one that we wanted, this Hamilton Beach, but of course they don't have it. They have like a bunch of other ones, but they don't have the one we actually wanted. So I think we're just gonna settle for something else. I just don't know which one yet. No. Steven likes the red one, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, it's this one, no. That one looked good on our counters. Talking about it'll look perfect. No, Steven's favorite color is red, as you can tell. But I do not like red. <laughs> okay, this is the one we're gonna go with. Looks like this. It's only 20 bucks, so. And we got the filters, now we just need the coffee. <laughs> Somehow Steven always drags me into the car section, which I do not want to be in every time. <laughs> Are we looking for something specific or we're just walking? <laughs> but then I always get him back because I make Steven come into the makeup section with me just to look, just to peruse. <laughs> I always like to see if they have new stuff. I might get a nail polish because I've been doing my nails at home, so I might grab something from here. I'm gonna get this for when I do my Frenches at home. This looks pretty. Actually, I think I'm gonna get this one. I like this one. All right, we just got home. I'm like bending over <laughs> to get down to the countertop height to show you guys the coffee that we got. We got these like little filter things, whatever that you need. We got um, some good looking coffee, at least I hope. So we got this Cafe Verona. It's like a dark roast from Starbucks. I've never actually had this at Starbucks. I normally just get like the Pikes Peak or the Cafe Americano, but I don't know, it sounded good. It says, dark cocoa and caramelized sugar. So we got this. Ooh, it smells good, I just like smelled it. Mm. We got Pike's Place, which is just like the regular uh, Starbucks. Coffee, just like a medium roast. And then the one that I'm most excited for is this one. Ooh, this one is the Starbucks Caramel, which that sounds really, really good to me. And it doesn't have like any calories or anything. It's just like caramel uh, flavored like coffee. There's not like actually syrup or anything in it, just natural flavoring. So that sounded really delicious to me because I love like caramel coffee. So we will keep you guys updated on how this works. Oh, also PSA, we got these 
hand sanitizers. We got two of them just because they were cheap. They're only like three bucks. They have the pump, which I prefer to like a squeezy tube. Um, and we opened one when we were in the car and it smells really, really, really bad. <laughs> so don't buy these at Walmart because they really smell bad. Like no hand sanitizer really smells great because obviously it's gonna smell like alcohol, but these ones are like really, really bad. So I wouldn't recommend. They have like a funky, a funky smell in them. I don't like it. But Steven's just setting up the coffee maker. We won't be making coffee now because it's like seven o'clock at night. So we're not gonna make coffee. I'm gonna ask him after dinner. I might fall asleep here. Oh, okay, maybe. I'll probably try it tomorrow morning and report back to you guys on how it is, but it looks cute. I feel like the white goes nice with the countertops, which is why I want to do white. Brown, why? Not if we clean it. It's not gonna turn brown if we clean it. Obviously, we'll have to keep it clean, but um, I just feel like it looks nice because we have white cabinets and white countertops and stuff, so. Well, that's why we went with this one. You're just mad we didn't get the red one. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> So Stephen's gonna do that and then we are gonna go meet my parents for dinner. Sorry, the faucet is running in the background if you guys can hear that. But yeah, we're just gonna go meet my parents for dinner a little bit later and uh, yeah. This is the problem with outdoor dining is we're here and it's pouring. <laughs> Look at my parents. <laughs> but at least there's a pretty rainbow. Yay. This is where I get my obsession with social media from. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Okay, you guys, so little update. I hate the coffee that the coffee maker makes. I don't know if it's the coffee or it's the coffee maker that I don't like, but this literally tastes like, I don't know, gasoline or something? I don't know, it's too strong. You like it though, don't you? Yeah, it's good. I don't know. I just, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Why do you like it? It's too strong? I think so, yeah. I think I got used to drinking the coffee that was made from the Keurig, which is like watered down, and I don't know if this is like too much. But I don't know if it's the coffee maker or it's like the actual coffee, like the brand that we got. We got Starbucks, which I would have thought would have been good, I guess, I don't know. Well, I don't know how many scoops to use. That's the problem. Well, you've been using one tablespoon of coffee grounds to one cup of water? Yeah, so with this, the numbers, I just do like fill the walk to 10, I do 10 scoops, which seems like a lot, but I don't know. Maybe we should be using less scoops and it would say, taste Well, the Starbucks has to do two per every six ounces of water, and I think that's even more scoops. So I don't know, I don't know. Like I can drink it, but it's definitely not my favorite. But in better news, Steve do. No. <laughs> in better news, Steven is making avocado toast right now, and we have perfected this avocado toast, it's so good. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how we make it so you guys can make it at home because we used to like buy avocado toast out and like it's expensive for no reason. You know what I mean? When you could easily make it at home with stuff you already have and it's so, so good. So I'm gonna show you guys how we make it. All right, so first of course you gotta toast your bread. So we just use this like little thinly sliced sourdough bread. That's what we like, but you can really use whatever you want. So I'm gonna go and toast this up. All right, then once you have your toast made, top it with your avocado. I just top each of our toasts with about one fourth of an avocado. Then you're gonna go in with lemon juice. This was gonna give the avocado toast so much more flavor. I love adding this. I like a lot, but you could definitely do that to your taste. Whenever I do Stevens, I add a little less because he doesn't like as much. Then I top with this everything but the bagel seasoning. This is just the kind I get at my local food store. The original one is from Trader Joe's, but a lot of times it's sold out there. So a lot of other brands are starting to make the same thing. This seasoning is everything. So then I top the avocado toast with this seasoning. Again, I like a lot of seasonings on mine. So I do it generously. Now I'm gonna show you how we cook the eggs. So I have two eggs here. We top each of the avocado toast with one egg. I'm gonna show you how we cook them because we do a poached egg, which really gives it that like restaurant quality taste. So basically this water was boiling. Once it was boiling and it was bubbling at the top, I bring it down to like two or low. So there's still the bubbles at the bottom, but it's not bubbling on the top. Then I put the egg in this little like cup thing and drop it in the water. And then it's gonna cook for about four and a half minutes. Also, this is completely optional, but while those eggs cook, we do have two slices of bacon cooking up because we like to top them on the avocado toast, so one slice of bacon per each piece of bread. Um, it just adds a lot of flavor, so we don't always do it, but we're doing it today to show you guys, so it is optional, but it tastes really good. All right, and then when the four and a half minutes are up, your eggs will be cooked. They'll look like this. You need a little spoon, like a slotted spoon, and you're just gonna go in and grab the eggs, separate them out. So it looks like this, let the water run out. 
and then tap it right on your avocado toast. Sometimes it like slides off. Hopefully today it won't. <laughs> oh, see, yep, it slid off, but I'll put it back on. And voila, you will have delicious restaurant quality avocado toast. Yum! All right, you guys, so we're gonna close out today's vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll be back very soon with more vlogs. Bye!